This is the first time, because of the Wasp, that you now have all of the original Avengers on screen. How does that feel for you guys? Well, it's great. I, I think the promise of seeing her in the in the suit in the last film was fulfilled in this, yeah. and she's really badass, which is fantastic. And uh, for years, we had a giant blow up of Avengers number one in the office, and as, as we've moved offices over the years, it's come with us. And uh, the fact that it is now complete, as you point out, is amazing. Yeah, that's got to feel pretty incredible. Yeah, awesome. Amazing. How, how do you find keeping the balance between the very unique humor of Ant Man and, of course, Paul Rudd? with keeping the theme of superheroes in the Marvel Universe? Uh, Peyton Reed. Peyton Reed is the secret weapon. He's a master of tone. He loves his stuff. He's a fan just like we are, so he knows the action. He knows the, all, of the, all of the exciting comic book elements, as you say, but he also is a master at emotion and a master at these, as Lou was saying, the, the family relationships. Well, that's something we, you know, we strive for in all our films, that balance between humor, action, uh, uh, seriousness, uh, and, uh, and I think it's, it's the one thing that sets Marvel apart from, from other studios and other films. I think there are many things that set Marvel apart from <laughs> yes. other studios and other films. <laughs> you guys also have an incredible collection of directors and writers, and it seems like there's been a lot of um, give and take between the directors. And how do you foster that spirit of collaboration? Because, you know, every, every person kind of wants ownership over their movie, but you guys, it's and, all collaborative. Well, the filmmakers should have ownership of the movie, and they should have a chance to, to have their, as I was talking about Peyton a minute ago, their, their vision come to life. That is that is what we want from Joe and Anthony Russo, uh, Anna, Anna uh, Bowden and Ryan Fleck are not with us tonight because they're on location in the last couple weeks of uh, Captain Marvel. Um, uh, James Gunn, who's uh, who's working on Guardians 3 right now. We want all of those unique voices. Ryan Coogler, who might be around here somewhere, um, that's how it works, is finding these filmmakers great visions who can elevate sort of the fun ideas and some of the, 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 the stories that we have. How did you decide I, upon Ghost? Excuse me? How did you decide upon Ghost to be the antagonist to introduce here? It was, uh, it was our producer, Stephen Broussard, and Peyton Reed, and our writers who were looking for a different kind of villain, a different, unique villain. We knew this film would be coming off of Thanos, be coming off of Killmonger. How do we find a villain that is very different, very unique? And when people see the movie, I think they'll see that we found it in Ghost. Well, we're going to let you go, because if we keep asking you questions, we're going to have no choice but to pull some spoilers out of you. <laughs> and I know there are other people who want to talk. Thank Thanks for talking nice. to the fans. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you.